Hello to all, my name is Camilo Mércio, I'm from Brazil. So, first of all, I would like to apologize for any speaking mistakes I can and I probably will commit here, because English is not my first language. I did this video to try to help my uh, other students to understand how the remainder works in Python. Here I have this first expression with integers 3 and 4. Okay. Uh, 3 is our dividend and 4 is the divisor. Okay. And you want to know what is the remainder from this division, 3 divided by 4. Okay. The first thing we have to look here is the divisor, 4. What, this, what does it mean? This means that we have a number line. Okay. Uh, it starts from 0 and goes to until 4. Here uh, I represented that in the circle. Uh, we start from 0 and we go to 4. Okay. This first number is the dividend. Um, it represents the number of steps we have to to take on the number line to find our remainder. So uh, let's show. Let's show here. Let's show here on the the circle what I mean. So it's three. Okay, uh, three steps. Three is a positive is a positive number. We don't have a minus sign here, so it's positive. So if the dividend is positive, the direction we have to walk on the line is clockwise. So we go here. One step, two steps, three steps. And we reach three. So three is the remainder of this expression. Let's write here and the answer. So it's 3. Okay. 3 is the, re the remainder here. On the second expression, we can see that we have a minus here. So we have the same line that goes from 0 to 4. We have the same three steps we have to take to find our remainder, but we have this minus sign here. So 3 is negative. So we have a change in the, the direction we have to take we have to take because uh, if the dividend is negative we go counterclockwise so you have to go three steps counterclockwise so let's go one two three and we ended up on one so, the answer here is 1. Let's see another expression. 3 modulus minus 4. Here we have minus 4. So, our number line, our circle, will go from minus 4 to 0. Look here, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, and 0. Okay. 
Here we have three. So three is the number of steps we have to take to find the remainder. And three is a positive, is positive. So the direction is clockwise. So let's go. One, two, three. We reach minus one. So minus one is our answer. Minus one is the remainder of this expression. Put here minus one. Okay. Now we have this other expression minus with minus three and minus four. We have here the line, the number line that goes from minus four to zero. Okay, and uh, this minus here indicates that our remain remainder uh, is going to be negative as well. Okay, we have the three, the number three. So you have to take three steps to find the remainder, and we have this minus sign over here so three is negative so we have a change a change in direction so minus we have to go counterclockwise so let's go one step two step three step we end up on reaching minus 3 so minus 3 will be minus 3 will be the answer is the answer of this expression let's write here minus 3 okay i will show you uh, another example with others integers okay uh, let's see nine and seven so we have a number line a, a circle number line <laughs> a circle line that goes from zero to seven and four and two to find our reminder, we will have to take nine steps, okay? And nine here is positive, so the direction we have to take is clockwise. So let's go. One step, two steps, three steps, four steps, five steps, six steps, seven steps, we, uh, we came back to start point, but we have to continue, seven steps, eight steps, and nine steps, and we reach the number two, so two is our remainder is the remainder of this expression here okay let's see the second expression here okay uh, we have the seven here okay that indicates that our number line goes from zero to seven okay and we have the number nine here that indicates we have to take nine steps from to find our uh, the remainder and we also have this minus sign here so the dividend is negative okay 
we have so we have a change in direction we have to go counterclockwise so let's go one step two step three step four step five step six step seven step eight and step nine and we reach the number five so five is our answer okay so five is the remainder of this expression okay let's see the other expression here we have minus seven so our line goes from minus seven to zero okay we have nine nine is the number of steps we have to take to find our answer and nine is positive so we go clockwise so let's go step one step two step three step four step five step six step seven step eight step nine and we reach minus five okay so minus five is our answer okay minus 5 is our answer here okay now let's see we have to go to the other the other side so let me change this color, this color here uh, Uh, let's see 9 minus 7 so it indicates that we go from minus 7 to 0 on the number line our number line goes to from minus 7 to 0 and we have to take 9 steps okay and as it, we have this minus sign we have a change in direction so we have to go counterclockwise so one step two steps three steps four steps five steps six steps seven steps eight steps and nine steps and we reach the number minus two okay so minus 2 is the remainder of this expression well um, I hope you understand the explanation I would suggest that you try to make this on paper and uh, after you could check your uh, compare your results with a uh, code sculptor i know uh, that like uh, in some expressions here like uh, like uh, nine uh, remainder seven it's uh it's easy to calculate to calculate you don't have to do these diagrams and stuff but um i think uh, what I'm trying to show doing that uh, is the logical behind, behind the, the expression. So I hope you enjoy it. Um, again, sorry about uh, any mistakes. Um, bye.